Uh, West Kelowna was ablaze, but most tragically, what appears to be structures on fire, fully involved. The people where we are now went from safely watching from across the lake to frantically evacuating themselves. We witnessed embers jump from the west side across to the east side of the lake where we are here. It was chaotic and emotions were high. You could hear in the way the fire chief spoke earlier just how seriously they are taking this place. The fire is going to look like it is right on top of the community. Uh, it's going to burn well into the early hours of the morning. There'll be glow and, and huge flames visible along the top of the hill. There could potentially be embers falling as well, and that's where we grow very concerned. So we ask the public to be aware and vigilant of that. If they see fire starting in places, report them to 911 immediately. They, they came to our side because they're on EVAC, and now we have a fire on our side. And it's just north of us, so we're getting out. Now. What daylight will reveal, sadly, we just don't know. People's lives and livelihoods are now in the hands of these firefighters. We're in the townhouses up partially up the hill there. Watching in disbelief as the rapidly moving McDougal Creek fire threatens a growing number of neighbourhoods in West Kelowna. It's, it's devastating. You know, we just don't know if we're going to come home to a home. A terrifying sentiment among the evacuees gathering at this emergency reception centre at Royal LePage Place. And I'm number 48, so long list. At last word, more than 5,700 homes were on an evacuation alert, more than 1,000 on an order, many of those homes in the Rose Valley area. This was the scene at the corner of West Kelowna Road and West Lake Road as a steady stream of vehicles came down the hill as evacuees fled the encroaching flames. So what, what did you grab? Uh, grabbed the go bag, what we need to live for a couple of days, and then just went through, grabbed the photo albums, grabbed the, a few extra clothes, grabbed the vinyl, uh, some memorabilia, computer. That and the clothes on his back. First time going through something like this. It's emotional. Totally. The hard thing for us is all of our family, sister lives next door, parents are down the street, so we're kind of all in the same position. Yeah. Logan Brown and Christy Cowan feel fortunate to at least have a trailer. The pair managed to find a camping spot for now, hoping to have their house intact at the end of it all. The wind does concern me a bit. I mean, you see the smoke, it's going this way and then it'll come back over right over top of us. It is an eerie sight here in Rose Valley as the neighborhood empties out. The majority of people have already fled. What's left is thick smoke up above and flames far too close for comfort.